Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning back in for another episode of Living Life Quartet. It's your girl, Lexus. And your boy, Julia. Also known as AC. Listen, we got another special episode. Uh, today is from the legendary Patrick Hollis. Listen, clap it up for me. Clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah. Listen, it's from, look, if you don't know Patrick Hollis, it's from the Lee Williams and Spiritual QCs. Listen, if you may know the song, it's I... Don't say one word. I'll just. All right, listen. That's enough for that. Listen, somebody <laughs> to tow out Baptist Fit Central wow. right there. Listen, okay. If you don't know, here we go. Uh, check it out real quick. Uh, just come right back. We'll be here. Hold on. We'll, we'll be here, right? We'll be here. Okay. All right, hey. yeah. Go check it out. Patrick Hollis. Now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another episode of Living Life Quartet. We're here in the studio with Patrick Hollis and his guest as well. If you guys can let you know who you are. I'm Patrick Hollis. <laughs> and I'm Kelvin McJunkins. Alrighty, so um, we're here today at the Burden Lifters anniversary. Um, you guys are pretty um, familiar with our segment by now. Um, what we're doing is we're just giving them the opportunity to participate in our Living Life Quartet segment as well. So I'm just going to ask them a few questions. Um, how long have you guys been singing? I believe it's going on probably the, probably the 10th year. Just about 10 years. Um, and um, when was the group originated? Like, you do, do you know a year? Well, the group was originated probably back in, probably back in 09. 09. It was originated in 09. Oh, back in 09. Okay. Awesome. And um, was there an event or something in particular that inspired you guys to come up with, you know, Patrick Hollis and your group? Uh, that story will be long. Um. <laughs> uh, because it wasn't <clears throat> my idea to even start a group. This idea came from Lee Williams himself. Okay. So uh, it was just, it, it'll be a long story. It's a story that some people have heard and some have not. But it's a long, long story how this group came about. <laughs> okay, yes, sir. I know you just mentioned that uh, Mr. Lee Williams himself did, you know, kind of help with the idea of getting your group originated. Um, I know you sung with him for quite a while. About how long did you sing with Mr. Lee Williams himself? Well, Lee, we were my babysitter when I was a baby. What? So I've been around him all my life. I've been with that group all my life. So you might well say 39 years. Wow. Of my life, and that's how old I am, 39. Wow. So <laughs> that's how long I've been around. Well, okay, well, that, that's good. You definitely um, do have the longevity including in the group. Um, and as for your group, who does your group consist of? Uh, it consists of uh, one of my best friends, Kevin Matt Junkin there, the mm -hmm. lead guitar player there, mm -hmm. Timothy White, mm -hmm. Jimmy Burton, uh Derrick Jones, La Thomas Miller, mm -hmm. and uh, Minister Dwight Starts. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, so um, I know, you know, with being in this quartet industry, you've been singing for a long time. Like you said, if Lee Williams was your babysitter, I'm sure you were singing at a really young age. Um, and so with having that longevity, sometimes people lose sight of why, why they are doing it or they have other reasons um, that keep them motivated to keep singing. Do you guys have a reason that keeps you guys going on that drive? We promised him we would do it. I'm sorry? We promised him that we would do it. You promised him that you would do it? We would do it. And we also, first of all, we promised God that we would do it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, we, got to, we got to keep his legacy alive. Mm -hmm. He will legacy alive. So that's what we're doing. Well, that's, that is amazing. Um, coming up under Lee Williams, I know that there was a lot of mentorship and um, correction and, you know, uh, magnifying, you know, from when you did good. And then even when you did bad, I know that there was some corrective, you know, judgments given to you guys. Um, if you could think of something that's been said to you guys um, that was correction um, that you would like to, you know, lend to an up, another upcoming group for information that they can keep near and dear to them to help them with their ministry. Stop Stop trying to sing one another And give God all the glory That is that on So many times we go to quartet programs They be then just told somebody You got 10 minutes to sing And they got to sing 15 minutes Because the last group just sung The Echo Airs just did 10 songs in 5 minutes And now you got to come sing 15 I, I definitely understand that um, So with that being said, um, I know that you guys um, have been 
on tours before you you know you basically almost toured the entire world um so with you guys being on road i know you that comes with making new singles and new things like that i know we spoke briefly about um you guys are currently in the studio um do you have any like plans or goal you know oriented with your new product that's getting ready to come out that just is in the making <laughs> Okay, with it being in the making, um, I know that you, um, he said that you were his best friend. Um, and with you being his friend, um, how do you have any advice to give in regards to being in ministry together and being in friendship? Uh, yeah. Um, well, well, number one, um, it's, it's important to uh, have Christ in your life. Uh, uh, I advise uh, anyone. Um, on this Christian journey, if you're trying to do anything, uh, you, you got to have God uh, first and foremost. And uh, it's good to have somebody uh, like Patrick Holly, myself, a good friend of mine, uh, somebody that loves Jesus like you love Jesus. You know, it's just it just makes uh, uh, traveling down the road uh, a lot better, a lot worth it. You know, mm -hmm. it just you know it just it's just good to uh, know somebody that loves Jesus like you love Jesus. Well, that's awesome. You know, a lot of times um, with us singing quartet, we get caught up on the fact of the matter that, you know, it's ministry and it's all about Jesus. But with it all being all about Jesus, Jesus has given us other um, virtues and other personalities that make it fun, even on a worldly level. Um, sometimes rehearsals can be long and rehearsals can be fun and frustrating. Um, just give us an end look on what y'all's rehearsals are like. I drill them sometimes. <laughs> um, it just If you know what you're doing Know the material Like you're supposed to know your material Rehearsal will go smooth and I guess My daddy used to say Pity patting around mm -hmm. It ain't doing what you're supposed to do Like study your material You know we got no problem now mm -hmm. you know, So that's when I drill mm -hmm. uh, You should know the material Patrick House of United. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kevin, he, he right there with me, drilling himself, you know. He's a hard worker. He wants things to be right. Sometimes we can't get him to shut up. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> he gets on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> y'all see y'all see him over there now. So y'all get on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> I might have to hurt him before we leave him. <laughs> but, you know, I could talk like that because it's all fun and game. You see how big he is? I'm big now, but he got muscles. I ain't got muscles. <laughs> Oh, I got peas and cornbread on me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, y'all y'all are amazing. Um, so I was thinking, you know, what you think, you know, rehearsal, sometimes you have to do that drilling and things, and um, it can get a little tense. I've been, I've sat in on oh, male yeah. quartet um, groups rehearsals and um, some female quartet, you know, get a little intense, you know, you ought to know your note, you ought to know your music mm -hmm. before you get here. You know, if it's been sent out, you should know it prior to. But even when, you know, all the working is done, are there any activities that you guys like to participate in to keep the, the brotherhood strong within you guys? Well, yeah, uh, that's one thing I can say about Patrick Hollis and United uh, that I love about this group. We, uh, we stand by uh, the word united. Uh, we believe in brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, we often try to do things uh, off the record mm -hmm. to come together and fellowship, <clears throat> have fun, you know, be brothers. So mm -hmm. that's one thing I love about this group. You know, we, we are a group of guys who try to support each other, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's, that's what we do. That's what we're about. Well, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I know you guys have um, just... Um, won an award, um, the First Lady on the Move Award out of Florida, mm -hmm. and you were nominated for the Rhythm Gospel Music Award out of South Carolina last year. Um, with you winning these awards and things like that, do you guys actually go into the award nominations with an actual goal or expectation, or is it, you know, um, of the lack thereof of, you know, expectancy? Uh. I'm going to answer that question the best way that I know how. Mm -hmm. uh, the awards are fine. Mm -hmm. it's, just one, it's just one reward I want, mm -hmm. and that's to make it to heaven. Heaven. There you go. That's, that's what All I was right. thinking. That's, that's, that's amazing. Um, 
And another thing, you know, um, we've asked multiple groups that we've interviewed, you know, if there was, you know, a lot of a lot of people, you know, they're just winning the awards and getting the fame and the fortune from it. Um, but if there was something that you can do to impact your ministry, um, the quartet industry or just the gospel industry in a whole, um, what would you guys like to do? What we doing now? Spreading the word of God. You know, it, it just, me personally, it's just not... Um, singing. Mm -hmm. You know, I've won 14, 15 Stella with Lee Williams. You know, mm -hmm. that's in my house now. I've won got Grammy nominations and all that stuff. But that don't mean anything. If that person didn't come to Christ, that person that has a suicidal thought, mm -hmm. that, you know, it, it don't mean nothing. If they take that dive off the bridge and kill they say, it don't, that's right. that's it right. don't mean nothing to me. I want them to come to Christ and let them know it's another way that you can that you can live. It's another way that you can be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Man, that's I right. I tell you now, if 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 I don't know who I'm talking to, I know I'm talking to somebody now. <laughs> but if you in depression mode, mm -hmm. come out of that depression mode. That's right. Because that's God right. got some way better. That's right. I mean, way better. Come on out. He's ready. Been ready for a long time. He just waiting on you. That's right. Well, I mean, you've, you've preached us. You've preached us happy. Um, I just, you know, I, I, when I think about it, um, you know, you're saying that you're singing with Lee Williams and we're all, you know, um, up to par or just up to knowledge, you know, of Mr. Lee Williams' retirement and things like that. Um, if there was one thing that you can say to Mr. Lee Williams or to anybody that was associated with, with you know, Lee Williams and the other group as well, if there was anything that you can express to them, what would that be? I love y'all. Thank y'all. Because we wouldn't be where we are today without God putting, you know, without God putting it on his brain to even tell me to do it. We wouldn't even be here. we be honest with you. Because I wasn't finna do it. He was already doing something else. Uh, the other guy was already doing something else. I mean, thank you to my daddy, Ed Lee Wade, and Leonard Shumper. Thank you. Because well, this is y'all vision, not ours. Wow. Wow, that is definitely amazing. Um, well, that's just about it for us, That what we have for you guys. You guys have definitely been great. Um, is there anything that you guys would like to say that I didn't get a chance to ask you? There's anything that you, you know, would like your viewers to know about you guys or if there's any kind of motivation that you would like to offer to anybody. Stop trying to go professional and just saying to the glory of God. And I would just say, just keep God first at whatever you do. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for um, coming to. I got a question. Oh, this is for me because I'm real quartet, baby. I just want to know because I'm, I'm a writer, too, as well. As far as what did y'all do in the background? You know, of course, instead of on stage, are y'all writing songs? If you write, who you who who you write for, or who like like you musician uh, something who have played for? You know, just a little bit. I want to know something about the back. Cause a lot of people don't know about it's it's a it's a big thing and just being in the background. You don't always have to be on the stage and right, sweat the yourself out, and you can just you can just stay at home and. You know, you can actually there is money in this somewhere. <laughs> so I was like, like, what do y'all do in the background? Uh, not just quartet, or just music. Period. Yeah, well, I'm trying to. Do you write, or um, have you written? For oh, we, well, we all wrote. We, yeah. I mean, yeah. Pep, we oh both yeah, write. I, I we all write. write. <laughs> so that's yeah. What I was like. Oh yeah, I've written for not, not a lot of artists. So mm -hmm. yeah, I could, yeah, you right. I understand what you're saying now. Yeah. Right. It's right. a lot that you can do in this field, but this field is tricky. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this field is tricky now. I'm saying when it comes down to your royalties and getting this and getting that, what you're really supposed to have. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, you really got to read up on a lot of stuff to uh, get what you're supposed to get because people will swander you, and then at the same time, the ones that know ain't going to tell you. So you got to know what you're getting yourself into. That's right. Well, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for giving us the opportunity to interview you guys. And um, you guys, viewers, stay tuned for another episode of Living Life Quartet. Well, it's time for me to have my kind of service.
where I come from, down there in the woods, a little Pentecostal church. Mama had a song. Can I say Mama song? Come on, Kevin. Can I say Mama song? Clap your hands. Come on. Clap your hands. Listen, he dropped some knowledge. He dropped some some great nuggets for us. I'm take it home with you. You might be at home watching this, so just keep it home, but keep it with you. No, put it in your pocket, bring it on the road. <laughs> with there, you. there you go. That's what you do with that. But listen, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the next episode of Living Life Quartet. Oh, cause we coming. We coming. We got a, we got a few more ducked off in the docket. And y'all know we know y'all ain't heard from us in a while. But uh, we, 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 we coming back. We, we here now. We back. back we here now. And listen, back. listen, back. listen. <laughs> all right. What kind of tarnation? Anyhow, all right, y'all. Y'all get out of here. All right, bye. Bye.